Are you having trouble inverting, which is keeping you from getting bigger PRs? This video's for you. Welcome to the Pole Vault Vlog. My name is Sean Francis, and today we're gonna talk everything pole vault. Inverting is a part of the pole vault. This video is a small section from chapter nine of my book and video series, The Pole Vault Toolbox. Both are available at team shootcom I'm gonna shoot you guys straight. I tried really hard to find an invert or an upside down pun and failed miserably. Do you have one? Do you have one for me? You can leave me down in the comments because I couldn't do it. I wear a necklace because I like to know when I'm upside down. Good enough? All right, let's go. How the f do you invert? I've been coaching the pole vault since 2005 and that's by far the most common question I've been getting and that's probably why you're here. Now, as we discussed in the book, the invert is a combination of two things, strength and technique. Now, if your order of operations have been awesome up until the invert, the invert will be so much easier. Another point for those order of operations. If your order of operations haven't been so hot up until this point, the invert might not even be able to happen no matter how strong you are. So let's get going so we can get you inverting. The goal of the invert. This is the exciting part of the pole vault where the vaulter actually becomes the implement. In shot, disc, or hammer, the thrower throws the implement, but in the terms of the pole vault, the pole actually throws the pole vaulter. It's kind of a cool way to think about it. So our goal is to be the best implement possible for the pole to throw. We do this by trying to be completely inverted while the pole's at its maximum bend. This is so the energy from the pole can be put into the vaulter and the energy can be directed where we want it to go instead of the pole deciding where it wants to go. We also wanna try and stay as close to the pole as possible. We've already talked about this a little bit, but the farther we get off the pole, the more energy we lose. So staying tight to the pole will help with our invert. Some other tools for your toolbox. Guys, this is nothing fancy. This is essentially just a hoop with a bunch of tape onto a pole, and it's a hula hoop. It cost me eight bucks at Walmart and it's one of my favorite drills to use for kids. It's nice to have a visual representation of where you want the vaulter's feet to go. Most vaulters don't even think about that. Young vaulters, they don't think about that. It just helps you stay nice and close to the pole because you see that loop coming off the end of the pole. You don't even have to put it on the end of the pole. If you've ever heard me coach, you've heard me say it a million times, just, hey, pretend there's a hula hoop on the end of the pole and you have to vault and go through it. And most of the time it fixes vaulters right up. They're like, oh. I never thought about that before. Just that cue alone helps Walter stay tight to the pole. Hopefully this adds to your toolbox and adds to the other two invert videos I've already made. Remember, there's more than one way to pole vault. I'll see you I came from the mud, dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Won't shoot me down soon